Well, let's begin with Credit Suisse saga here. U.S. shareholders of the bank have filed a proposed class action against Swiss Bank for allegedly defrauding them by concealing problems with the finances. The lawsuit filed in federal court in Camden, New Jersey, accuses Credit Suisse of deceiving investors by failing to disclose its significant customer outflows and material weaknesses in its internal controls over financial reporting. The plaintiffs, led by Brad and Turner, claim that as the truth became known, Credit Suisse's largest shareholder said it would not put more money into the bank, causing investors to flee and resulting in losses as Credit Suisse's stock price fell to record low. The lawsuit marks first by U.S. investors over recent problems at Credit Suisse, which earlier this week secured a lifeline to borrow up to $54 billion from Switzerland's central bank. The law firm representing Turner was also the first to file shareholder lawsuits against Silicon Valley, bank parent SVP Financial Group and Signature Bank. Now, both of these regulators they seized in last week. Credit Suisse's largest shareholder is Saudi National Bank, whose chairman cited regulatory issues as primary reason it would not add to its 9.9% Credit Suisse stake. Overall, U.S. shareholders of the bank are alleging that the bank defrauded them by hiding financial issues, resulting in losses as its stock price dropped to a record low. It marks first lawsuit by U.S. investors over Credit Suisse's recent problems as the bank attempts to recover market confidence following its recent troubles. Now, Credit Suisse has not yet commented on the lawsuit and its CEO and chair are among defendants named in the case. We on now available in your country. Download the app and get all the news on the move.